Right lads, today, no mods, nothing, pure vanilla, Iron Man EU4, uh, and we're going to be playing as Lithuania. Lithuania being a nation that uh, everyone kind of knows about, uh, it's always just a sidekick to Poland, an afterthought. So today we're making it the main character. Uh, Lithuania is going to become Lithuania, which is a joke I've already used several times in my videos, but if you're new here, you don't know that. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Usually I save that for the end of it. Anyway, right? <laughs> so today, uh, we're going to be going down the Lithuania mission tree. Uh, they have a little thing here where if they could just secure the Polish succession, which just means surviving six years and being allied to Poland, they get claims on this region. Once you take that region, which is really easy, I think you could do it in one war, you then get a restoration union on Poland and also claims on Novgorod. You get Novgorod, you then get a uh, personal union on uh, Muscovy. So you can quite easily within a few years have both Poland and Muscovy in a personal union. So we're going to try that. So to start with, we're going to do something a little bit odd and we're going to rival Poland. We're also going to rival the different orders, which will get rid of the uh, historic friend thing because we're not interested in being friends with the weakened Poles. So if we wait six years, we can get claims. I'm just going to go ahead and take out the Teutons in the meantime. Okay, I like Bohemia. That's a bit of an issue. All right, we're going to go for slightly softer targets in this case. There are no soft targets. <laughs> Everyone is. Okay, this is going to be tricky. All right. Because I don't really want to wait the six years to get the claims. Oh. Poland elected a new ruler. Brilliant. So we don't have to wait that long. Excellent. There we go. So we got our claims immediately. All right, we're going to declare war to protect the Novgorods from the Muscovites. That's our only state to name, of course. Everything else is pure slander. The key part is we're taking defensible territory. And over here, uh, where is it? Secure Novgorod. Nah, we can't take Torzhok. Sucks. We're going to have to fight Muscovy. Which I thought was inevitable. I probably should have been a bit quicker on this, to be honest. Go on, take Torzhok. Go on, go on, go on. I can see building troop. Do it. Be a legend. Doing this for your own protection. Just siege it, siege it, siege it. Ah, that's too slow. Now I'm going to go march off and destroy the Livonians. Because Muscovy can't do anything whilst we're still in this war. They've only got 50% war score. Which is kind of the point. You want to limit Muscovy as much as possible. When's this happening? December this year. Riga and the Teutonic Order. So my plan is I'm going to completely ignore the Livonians. And I'm going to just blitz the Teutons. All right, there's our truce. Blitz it. All right, key part here is they can run around all they like. That's fine. We're going to wait for Miltech 4 before we do any like, proper engagements. 310. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sitting around for a 310. See, what I've done there is I've let him out, which was not part of the plan. So we need to head back in, as painful as this is going to be. Or, you know, we could miss him entirely. That's also an option, I suppose. I can't believe I've done that. <laughs> that was perhaps the single stupidest... I feel like an AI. Mil take 4, mil take 4, okay. Because the issue is the orders always start with, like, really good uh, ideas, right? So they have, like, yeah, like, the Teutons are plus 5% display and plus 10% cavalry combat ability. I can't wait to play them in the new patch. I think it'll be a lot of fun. They've got that whole Holy holy Horde thing, which absolutely I'm going to do. Nice little stack right there. Thank you. I mean, you'd hope I'd win the siege at some point, right? 493 days. Denmark declared war on the Livonians. That's annoying. Did you come in? You didn't even come in. So why do you want to stay in this war if you're not if you don't want to defend them? It's it's irrational. It's outrageous. It's, it's unfair. There we go. That should put you out of business. Really? You just take a white piece. Oh, well, I want this land. Oh, we're actually going to have to do it because I need to race up and deal with the uh, the Danish ones. Okay, there you go. I didn't get anything out of that. This is a mess. This is rapidly deteriorating. Please win that first. I need this siege to win before that siege wins. Is that 151? Oh, 154. I'll take 154. Go, go, go. Don't win that. Okay, you want it. Okay, please get there before him. I'll get there six days later. No! <laughs> that sucks. I'm gonna have to fight the Danes, because they will absolutely take um, Ursul. I'll just peace out for this stuff up here. It's not everything I want, but it is enough. I just wanted to be a great power again. I won't lie. I'm actually so upset they took that one province. This could have been so easy. Wait, what's the, what's their war for? Please don't tell me it's for Ursul. It is as well. Oh my god. I can't have any of the things that I want. Do I need the entire region, including Ursula? I do. My god, man. He's going to take that one province. Everyone, everything has gone horribly. I'm like two provinces off up here. I'm one province off up here. I've surrendered the, the Teutons to the Poles. This is the worst possible start. At least we have manpower. I'm going to have to peace out of this war because I'm going to call cool for peace. Oh, that's painful. Why does Smolensk have separatism? Why? Why? Over extension, more resortion. Yeah, all very valid reasons, to be fair. But befriend the Cossacks and get claimed, right? So we can, we can do that instead. What do I need to give them? Establish the Cossack regiments. Okay. Have at it, boys. What are, what are, what are these? What do what Cossack cavalry do? Do more shock damage. Okay, I'm sold. Okay, this is Skyro. Yeah, this is getting out of hand. 
Lithuanian noble rebels are about to rise up everywhere. Uh, yeah, we're getting out of this war. And then the Cossack should be loyal, and then we get cleansed. Excellent. And I guess we're done here. Go on, do it, you bastards. There you go. <laughs> you released Danzig? You made him release Danzig. That was all you did. Oh, and you took four provinces from the uh, Bohemians. But that's actually really good. He's helped me out a lot there. Because I only white pieced him. And now I can take land. And there's a 2.7% chance of the noble rebels uh, rising up. I say that because if that happens, I will... No, sorry, wait. Unalive myself. That's that's how you get around the algorithm, right? Wait, in the game. <laughs> there we go, that'll do it. I will abdicate in the game. Okay. Uh, I see no issues with this. My guy died in battle. That sucks, but he's given over to a regent that's 545. Denmark declared war on Novgorod. Dude, Denmark really going for it this session, eh? They're all the same. He just wants to be in the video. What are we doing militarily? What do we mean we're on par with everyone else? Muscovy has 25,000 troops. Bigger force than we could probably take Muscovy in a 1v1 if we had to. I need to attack the troops before the truce with the Polish is up. I'm going to attack the Poles directly now. Because Muscovites realistically can't move in any direction without touching Denmark, me, or the, my allies, basically. I'd like to go after you again. 68. Six years, because then I can vassalize you. And then all of this stuff is your cause. And I can have a Russian uh, Russian puppet. Gorod is no longer a valid rival. Well, who else could I rival? It's small and weak. Premier? <laughs> I'm going to have to rival the Danes, aren't I? Um, oh, fortunately, the Muscovites have rivaled the Danish as well, because otherwise that would be horrible, because usually they have a tendency to ally, and that's just not a situation I want to find myself in. All right, let's do it. Oh, he's destroyed his force as well. That's fun. Oh, I've got a fort in my capital. Had a fort in my capital. Mm, Large-ish coalition. Ah, Austria would get involved. Can't afford that. What if I don't take Tuchel? There's no Austria, there's no problem. Well, to be fair, the Danes as well. I think the Danes are coming in anyway. Yeah, the Danes are coming in anyway, so is Muscovy. Eh, I'm tempted just to run it, boys. Okay, Denmark's coming in anyway. Poland's coming in anyway. Muscovy's coming in anyway. So I'm gonna have to fight a three-front war, regardless. But this video is already completely off of, of track from where I want it because of this one stupid province and these two stupid provinces. So I'm gonna have to fight everyone anyway. And honestly, I feel a bit jaded, so we're gonna try it. Okay, we can't afford the Austrians. That's a bit too far. But we can afford the rest of this. And we're gonna do it. And we can upgrade it to a kingdom. Okay, and here comes the coalition. Now, would anyone big like that? <laughs> of course, of course, the Ottomans would love to ally me. Oh, it's good to see. It's good to have friends in high places. By all means, enter the coalition, boys. How are you going to handle the trifecta of Kazan, Ottomans, Lithuania, and of course, our faithful buddy, Danzig? The Bohemians would ally me as well. Interesting. This fort here, going to get deleted. Um, global modifier. Garrison size, yearly legitimacy, and mercenary cost. That's actually a pretty good thing. What can, what if I max it out? Garrison size plus 25%. Oh, look at that aggressive conquest from Poland. That's disgusting. You'd never catch me doing that. We can go ahead and... I've got loans to replay before I can influence you. Ah, oh, why can't I do debt spending? Why is there smart financial advice in this game? How are you losing this war? Because like, like, I need you. You're actually getting fully occupied. Minus 78%. There's no way you don't peace out. You have to win it now. You have to win it now and beat him in battle. Otherwise, he'll peace out. You have to do it. Okay, he won. Go, 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 go. Go for the battle. Go for the battle. Where are you going? He's gonna siege it back immediately. He's gone for Zeratop. This is brain dead even for an AI. Oh my god, this is this is stupid even for an AI. Influence nation, that gives you 25, which means that we can vassalize you. There you go. Thank you. Good to have you on board, Chief. Yes, go, go, go. No, what did you do? Greyhold pays 40 ducats. <laughs> Alright, man. No guy declared a great war. Uh, war on Great Horde. Uh, I feel like I should definitely get involved in this, considering everyone else is. Why are you coming after me? Right, let's use you lot to murder you, and I'm going to very inconveniently go and take the lands bordering no guy so he can't take them. <laughs> it's who I am. Where are you going? You really abandoned your nation to go walk about. Before any of you say, oh, well, if you had a fort, I'd have stopped it. No, it wouldn't have. <laughs> you still would have walked around. My nation's too big. It's too porous. I mean, I could just, you know, like, who's actually going to care? What's anyone going to do? I'm allied to the, op the Ottomans and the, uh, and the Kazanis, like, the, the, the sort of the foremost powers of the region. Really nice in Kazani, because they are not. So how well they handled <laughs> these guys from last time. Also, the Ottomans are doing something strange. Uh, they they just skipped out on this stuff and went straight for Syria, which you have to respect. They also just didn't go for Epirus, which allowed Hungary to become a power over here. 
Astra Khan, there we go. Release, oh, it's a beautiful color. Easily one of the best colors in the game, that. By the way, I do appreciate when people correct my pronunciation in the comments. Like, some people get upset about that. I'm very happy to have my pronunciation checked. I enjoy pronouncing things properly. It's good fun. The Great War Horde went bankrupt. Wow. Well, can't imagine how. This regent's so illegitimate. That's on 22 and she's like, ah, that, but, but, like, what if we kept me around, huh? Five more years. <laughs> Five more years. There we go. National ideas. So we're going to grab ourselves. What's a good idea group for us? Maybe quantity. Take on the Russians like that. Well, I suppose we do have, like, a large force limit anyway. Probably larger than most places. Yeah, literally one of the largest around. All right, well, we're going to be fighting the Russians. So I think quantity makes the most sense, right? World War Dukes because land leader shot plus one, which is also why I waited until now to run some, uh, oh, some generals, like a 2-3. And our heir, who's a 3-6. Honestly, I reckon we're, we're, we're set to fight the Russians. They won in a coalition against them, of course. We could have, like, the English, which is very amusing. Why? What do you, what do you, do you hate the Danes? Ah, oh, you, a man of culture, I see. Also, England's been doing quite well this game. What's my coalition looking like? Ah. <laughs> my neighbors. Oh, sorry. Regency. Nah, I think we'll extend that one, Chief. So I literally just only cost 100 mil to extend. There's no reason for this. Like, I'm not going to take land from Ryzen. I just really want to kick Muscovy's ass. Like, that's the only purpose of my existence right now. Xander declared one of the Great Horde. He's trying again. Bless his little heart. And we're going to send about 30,000 troops going. and mess with him a little bit. We do have a superior general. We can catch him here. All right, let's see. So, yeah, we have slightly better morale. Obviously, overwhelming majority of troops, which is what we have to keep. No, 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 no. You don't get to leave. He doesn't have a leader. Oh, God, he doesn't have a leader. Yep, yeah, that'll do. That's, mm-hmm. There's Siege of Moscow, and we will be scrapping here once these guys lock out. Let's split up a little bit and focus on mowing down these troops. There's no way he hasn't taken huge casualties throughout this entire thing. I'm just stack wiping him left, right, and center. Let's see, what are the casualties like? He's lost 54,000 troops. I've lost about 36,000, so I've lost 25,000 less. Fewer, sorry. Why did I apologize for my grammar? You can't tell me what my grammar is. Screw you guys. We're running out of manpower now. It's time to think about peacing out. I've got 18% against them. This now became a bit more grueling than I wanted it to be. Slacking a bit. Grab some more manpower. I'm going to hope that he goes to Moscow and we can catch him. Catch out these troops. Should be a stack wipe. It's not. My God. How are we suffering this much? What I did did you take? Shock damage. But like, but still, even though he's like mil take seven. Oh, uh, military tactics plus 2.5. But that's not that important to be doing that much damage to me. I'm just not stack wiping him anymore. All right. Okay. Hopefully they go and stack on Moscow. Moscow. Is it Moscow or Moscow? I never know. Moskva, as I'll call it. This has been a pretty decent war thus far. Painful, don't get me wrong, but it's, you know, like the Russians alone. That's always going to be tricky. Let's take out 14,000 troops with a two-star general. Oh, if you reinforce that, I think I'd lost. The sheer amount of damage he does is, is so painful. I lost 8,000 troops to 7,000. Like, I'm, like, if this is a war of attrition, I am losing. I'm just trying to get his war exhaustion down. I had a banked on having won this siege. You know, I've sort of occupied damn near the entirety of Russia in the time it's taken for me to not win this each. 42%. There we go. 847 days, ladies and gentlemen. So if you think that I complain too much about sieges, if you think that, um, oh, it's not that bad. 847 days, I have a one siege on him. There's nothing like I have been maintaining that siege the entire time. That is ridiculous. Now, we are going to take our money and we're going to bounce. I just want to bankrupt him. That's the plan. Not allied to anyone important, are you? Nope, nope, and nope. And there we go. Let's go take out Ryzen. War exhaustion is steadily climbing. We can change that pretty easy. Realistically, I wasn't going to be able to fight the Muscovites for a while anyway. So I just need to make sure their expansion halts here. Right, do I want the stuff for myself? Probably not. Uh, I think let's extend this Regency a little bit. And there it is. Man, do I give it to Asr Khan or do I take it myself? Probably give it over because I don't have the governing capacity. Right, so we've got money. Start building some buildings, shall we? Thank you, Muscovy. That's a thousand ducats spent in a couple of seconds. Queen Regent's now a tactical genius. Well, she has just taken out the Muscovites, and under her rule, we sort of dominated Eastern Europe completely. I mean, everyone in Eastern Europe's either allied, allied to us, in a coalition against us, or just has a truth with us. So what we need now is those two provinces that we can form the Commonwealth. <laughs> Oh, the regent died. Oh, well. No, wait. Our heir died and the regent took over. So now she's just the queen. Huh. Interesting. Well, that is weird. <laughs> I've never seen that happen. So because the heir died, she's now just the queen. Cool. I'll take it. Right. We're going to go after Denmark. 
And I'm just going to hope I can blitz into their lands here. Because if I can't make it to Urza, we're about to lose badly. I have to say, what a legend of a queen, though. Queen Agni Radziwill. When her husband died, took over for her son, ruled it better than her son, and, and just has been in charge. Advise, advise the cost minus 20%, improve relations plus 20%, and land even move plus one. Not bad. Bad at all. Right, let's take Urzel. Oh, we'll call him the humans, because why not? Mad rush, mad rush, mad rush, mad rush, mad rush. This isn't looking good. Screw it. We've got to do it the hard way. Do it the hard way. I don't know where the Bohemian troops are. Do Bohemia have troops? Yeah, they got like 14,000 somewhere. How's Glogau fallen then? How have you let this happen? Dude, we're getting smashed in this war. All right, let's form up, boys. It's actually like... I, I thought we'd, we'd fare a little better than this. God, there's so many... They're like ants. There's, they're, they're just everywhere. I swear to you now, if, if I didn't bring in the uh, Bohemians, it'd be better. We're winning every battle possible, but there's just, they're just everywhere. Again, our distinct lack of forts really letting us down here. I'll oh, leave my vassals alone, man. Oh, morale advice plus 10%. Yes, please. Stop sending one stacks. Please. It's exhausting. Because they never stop. They just keep sprinting around my territory. I don't understand what they're aiming for here. All gas wants to come out. Please do. This might be the most frustrating war of Fort E4. Okay, the game rewards. With one hand, he takes. With one, he gives. What is this matriarchy we're doing? A 545? And then I just get a 666? As an heir? Are you kidding me? Dude, the, the Lithuanian women are built different. The Bohemians! I, I will never chat about you again. You made it, you beautiful bastards. Dude, realistically, I just want this province. Like, I don't care about the others. I need Riga as well. And then I get my Restoration of the Union on Poland. I mean, wasn't here, you know? Catch him, please catch him. I don't want to run into no guy. Thank you. I don't know that we need a general with 100 tradition. Because we already have a 2-6, but I can't say no to it, right? I said no to it by mistake, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so apparently I can say no to it. <laughs> Whoops. I this actually could be kind of dicey, you know. I forgot that this general is an absolute god. I'm actually pretty happy with taking that province. And we'll grab ourselves some war reps. Anyone I don't like you allied to? I don't think so. There we go. What is your leader died? No! It's the game punishing me for, for misclicking. All right, let's grab a quick loan to pay for the renaissance. And then we can go ahead and grab the next thing here. Yeah. Right, ideas-wise, we are sort of expanding into Sunni and Orthodox areas, so I usually would go religious, but I think humanist would suit Lithuania. I kind of like the idea of going humanist. I never go humanist anymore, and it was one of my favorite idea groups when I was uh, a, a wee lad playing this game, and it stacks nicely with this. Oh, I found troops. Where'd they go? Come back, come back, come back, come back. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. It's really, really cool. It's, re it's so cool, dude. You're, you're going to love it. Honestly, it's going to be, your mind's going to be blown. Man's got six maneuver. I'm not showing him anything he doesn't want to see. He's actually going home. I can't. I can't chase him. He's just. He's absolutely rinsed me there. Oh, he's back, Mr. Six Maneuver. The Usain Bolt of generals. Jesus. Get him. Nope. Get him. <gasps> Record him. Yes. There we go. All right. Will you do it now? No. Negative three. <laughs> All right. What about now? Surely. Yeah. Okay. I could take Lubeck as well. Oh, it's tempting. Oh, it's so tempting. A nice little warm water port. Control over Danish trade. Nah, surely. Surely not. My, my aims are, uh, are elsewhere. Alright, that's all I wanted. Conquer Livonia, which gives us restoration of the Union against the Poles. Sorry, she loses one a, a mil and gains a Diplo. Why? Forsake the spirit that called me to war. Are you... Bro, come on. This woman is a legend. Don't question her decisions. Alright. We can blitz the poles, hopefully. Restoration of Union. All right, what are the stats like? They seem to be marginally worse at most things, apart from discipline. Yeah, I'm on Poland. There we go. Please be stacked. Wow, it would be incredible. Oh, just need to have this army patrolling the border to make sure none of them go through. There are only forts if you are the fort. It's just a moving fort. Admittedly, the moving fort not as effective as a regular fort, but still, like, mildly effective. Not really. Oh god, they're going to Astrakhan again. <laughs> okay, yeah, Operation Moving Fort has definitively failed. All right, we took Warsaw. It's just bizarre because they, it's, it doesn't even feel like they're doing anything. 
They're just running around in circles. All they're doing is prolonging the war. Maybe that's the strategy of the AI, just to make me feel like I don't want to play anymore. If so, it's, I mean, it's working. Natives not assisting. They're not helping our, assist our fur trappers. Huh? Uh, I don't, okay. <laughs> Sounds like a colonial event, really, doesn't it? It's a bit weird. We went all the way to Novgorod, really. And you don't even take anything, you're just running around in circles. I also think not having forts really confuses the AI. And like I said, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Because it means it just keeps sprinting around looking for something to siege. Meaning they're not sieging anything, but equally, it's hard to catch them. Because you don't know what they're trying to do next. Never let them know your next move is up, Olin. Like, what is this? They've just been on a tour around my country. Okay, the moving fort thing, whilst frustrating, kind of is working. Ish. But again, they're roaming freely. We're not actually, like, occupying too much. Because if you get close, they run. So we could peace out right now. But that's a, not good. Because uh, if our ruler dies, whilst they have a negative opinion of us, then we lose the plus of union. And, uh, well, well she's, she's kicking around. She's 71. So I need her to, I need her to die before we can move forwards. Which sucks, I wanted to put her on the throne of Poland, but it will destroy us. So we're going to fully occupy them and just wait. But I need this this wonderful paragon of our nation to die. Also got a 666, that's 23. I'd, I'd like her to get, have a chance, but come on. This is going to ruin our nation because we're going to get call for peace. <laughs> yep, there's call for peace. Please, this woman, die. She's unconditional. Oh my god, this is horrible. There's nothing I can do. Bro, she's, she's 73. Just die. Just die. We're, we're not going to enjoy this next few years. As our call for peace goes up and our war resortion is going to be hitting max any day now. You're 75. Come on. You come, Like, there we go. Oh, my God. I think I willed her to death. Union of Poland, 700 ducats. There we go. Uh, we get a nice little bonus here of uh, governing capacity modifier plus 10 for the rest of the game. And more importantly, we need to rapidly We need a couple of provinces off of Muscovy and then we can go after them for the uh, personal union. All right, we are going to spawn colonialism. Uh, yeah, that's, there we go. There we go. All right. We're going to wait for our manpower to tick back up and then we go after the Muscovites for those two provinces and then we go after them for more. Huh? You rivaled me? Oh, great. Just after the Austrians, huh? All right. Well, I've got an idea. Now, look, it's your time to shine. I'm going to be your saving grace. All right, this could be a horrible idea, but I want to get it done early. Okay, what tech are you, Kazan? Your tank six. Kazan, buddy. All right, murder you lot, please. Excellent. Oh, gotta keep doing 113% British unity. We're just that religious. All right, so can I actually take these pretty soon? I'm surprised the Teutons are still alive. I suppose I did nullify most of the threats towards them. I don't know what it takes to put you on low, Chief. The fact that you're not on low already, bit of a travesty. He really wants to take Warsaw. I don't know what it is with taking the capitals of my vassals. They're obsessed with it. Okay, well, I can take these two provinces now. How long is the truce? Like seven years, that's nothing. I just need to secure this area. There we go. And there's secure Novgorod, which gives us restoration of the union against them. Seven years. Should have enough time to make them loyal after that. Now, we wait. Right, we have to blitz this war because otherwise our queen's going to be too old and we're not going to be able to keep them as a plus union. Restore union. Let's go. Uh, blow it up. All right, let's keep doing this quickly. Just spent 150 mil power on that. Teach it to Ver. Keep moving around, boys. It's a lightning war, this. There we go. This is what, the, what I wanted out of that first war that I fought against them. There we go, Moscow. And now we allow the team war score to do its job. They might even do it early. With minus 34, we're really not that far away. Siege Rostov. One of these sieges will do it. Or a couple of decent battles. Yeah, that's right. Lock in. Lock in with no leader. Lock in with no leader. There we go. That's low. That should be it. I need your money, though. We're going to keep fighting. There we go. And we've got it. Union over Muscovy. Now, if I go here, I pay off your debt. 400. Support loyalists. And you're basically loyal. Especially if I ping the next tech. Which actually puts me ahead of, a tech ahead of the Ottomans. But take 11, that's a big one. Influence you, it's going to cost me 300. Definitely worth it, considering it's your own money. Come on, drop the loyal. And there we go, he's loyal. Diplo rep does it. So, we have the might of the uh, the Poles, the Lithuanians, and the Muscovites behind us. Uh, if we wanted to fight the Ottomans, which we will have to do, we have a lot more troops than him. Uh, it doesn't make it easy, but it, it does give us something. Now we just need to own the Oka area, and we get Lord of the Roofs. 
which gives us a liberty desire from subject development minus 25% for 20 years, which would be very, very useful. Uh, and the rest of this stuff is pretty standard. Get a university. I'm surprised we turned that around. I'm very, very pleased we turned that around, actually. So next steps would be to sort out the trade situation, probably secure ourselves in Novgorod and push all of our trade that way. Um, and yeah, leverage our Polish and, uh, and Muscovite vassals to expand into into europe and definitely going to be trying to go after the byzantines so if that's something you want to see please do make sure to uh, like and subscribe it's how i tell if people are interested in seeing more of this uh, lithuania is uh, a sadly not a very well played nation uh, but i think it's it's a lot of fun some people have been asking to see the husky he doesn't like being picked up as you can see here um yeah this is coda he really hates being picked up so yeah that was coda and i'll uh, see you all next time goodbye Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.